the fourth ode of Horace in the Archilochian meter. Solvi tur acris hiens, grate vike veris et favoni, trahunt quisicas machinae carinas, ac neque iam stabulis gaudet pecus, autoratur igni, nec prat canis albicant pruinis. Iam citerea coros ducit venus immenente luna, iunctae qua nymphis gratiae decentes, alterno terram quatiunt pededum, gravis ciclopum vocanos ardens visit officina. Nunc decet aut viridi nitidum caput impedire murto aut flore terrae quem ferunt solutae. Nunc et in umbro sis fao node get immolare luci se opusca dagna sive malit haedo. Pallida morsa aequ pusat pede, pauperum tabernas regum queturis. O beate sesti, vitae summa brevis, pem nos vetat incoare longam. Iam te premet nox, fabulaeque mannes et domus exilis Plutonia, quo simul me aris nec. Regna vinis ortiere talis, nec tenarum licida merabere, quo calet juventus nunc omnis et mox virgines te pebunt. And I'll try that again with an audible Ictus. Solvitor acrisiens grate vike veris et favoni trahunt quisicas machinae carinas. Ac neque iam stabulis gaudet pecus autorator igni, nec prat canis salvicant ruinis. Iam citerea coros ducit venus immenente luna, iunctae qua nymphis gratiae decentes. Alterno terram quatiunt pededum, gravis ciclopum vocanus artens visit officinas. Non decet aut viridi nitidum caput impedire murto, Aut flore terrae quem ferunt solutae. Nunc et in umbrosis fauno decet immolare lucis se opusca tagna sive malit haedo. Pallida morsa aequo posat pede, pauperum tabernas regum queturis. O beata sesti vitae summa brevis, pem nos vetat incoare longam. Iam te premet nox, fabulaeque mannes et domus exilis Plutonia, quo simul me aris nec regna vinis ortiere talis, nec tenarum licidam merabere, quo calet juent, nunc omnis et mox virgines te pebunt. I hope that little demonstration might give the beginning student an idea of the sophisticated polyrhythms and syncopation that you can find in some of this ancient poetry when it is read or recited in a quantitative way, which on various days of the week I might be better or worse at. Anyhow, here is uh, my English version of this, which perhaps you have been eagerly awaiting to hear. Solvitor acrisiens, 
fierce winter loosens its grip, its spring, and with west winds change, dried out hulls are winced back down to the sea. The flock no longer seeks the warmth of their fold, nor the plowman his fire, as fields no longer are white with frost. Now Cytherean Venus leads out her dancers beneath the pendant moon, and the sweet graces again link arms with the nymphs, treading the earth beneath tripping feet, whilst Vulcan aflame revisits the great Cyclopean forges. Now tis time we bound our foreheads with dark green myrtle or with fresh flowers, whichever the unfrozen ground grants us. Now tis time we sacrificed to found us beneath the shady moon, whether he demands for lamb or for kid. Pale death knocks with an impartial foot at the door of the poor man's cottage and at the prince's gate. O Cestus, my friend, life's brevity prevents us from holding on to everlasting hope. For soon the night shall crush you and the fabled shades whence you've entered Pluto's beggarly hall. You'll no longer be allotted the lordship of wine by means of your dice nor to marvel at tender Lycida, for whom already the boys are burning, and for whom soon maidens will be hot. Gratias prospectantibus, sic semper valete amici.